Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 5.0, and today is day 10. Today we're kind of going to, we are going to basically wrap up our training on the contacts applet by diving in one more time to talk about contacts and additional information. So let's go into our contacts applet and we're going to select one of our contacts here and let's select Mr. Walsh. And if I come over and click on the pencil sign, you're gonna see that we have the ability to edit some additional details on this contact. So I wanted to kind of uh, knock out a few things that we had not yet discussed. First of all, there is add relationship. So this button allows you to add anyone who is related to this particular contact. <clears throat> if the contact already exists in your database, then you can start searching for that person and if they don't exist, then you can click on add to click or basically add that contact. So Brandon's sister was Brenda. Let's click on add. And now we're going to have a new contact made for Brenda. Um, in addition, you can come down and see, right? We talked about lead source. We've talked about the difference between leads and contacts. We've talked about tags. But if I come down to add more information, I've got three additional categories here. So under additional contact information, if you know how Brandon prefers to be contacted, pretty sure he's a texting guy, you can choose one of these three. If for any reason you have an additional email or additional phone number associated with the contact record, you could put that in. Um, one thing I wanted to make sure that you do when you are putting in primary addresses is that if you know this is Brandon's mailing address, make sure that you check this radio button. This radio button is really important when we get into campaigns and start talking about doing uh, mail out campaign campaigns, direct mail postcards. Uh, you can actually send direct mail postcards to contacts in your database as long as you have their mailing address checked. So this is a really important one. In addition, you've got social profiles here that you can choose, right? And so let's say that that profile, you do need to make sure you include the HTTPS. So you can see as soon as I start typing, it automatically includes that for me. And then it could be, uh, it's me, Brandon, right? Let's just assume that that's his actual social profile. I could add one uh, for Twitter and maybe that's his Twitter handle. You can see as soon as I start typing there, uh, maybe it's forever Mondale. Um, so you can add up to, I don't think there's a limit actually. So you can have a whole bunch of different social profiles on here if you wanted to add those. Um, in addition, underneath the about section, you can add in the legal name. Uh, so we know that his legal name is not Brandon Walsh. His legal name is actually Jason Priestley. So let's put that in. Uh, description, uh, mega star, uh, best known for Beverly Hills, 90210. Unless you think he was better known for some other show, feel free to send me feedback on that. Uh, but you can drop in birthday and home anniversary. We do have smart plans based around both of these addresses and the smart plan will not work unless we have these addresses put in. So you'll want to make sure if you do have your contact's birthday, you can put that in and make sure you understand this is home anniversary. So when they purchase the home with you, that way when it's been a year since they purchased the home or such, you can add the smart plan basically that would kind of trigger some events based upon when they actually purchase the home with you. If you have additional relationships other than the first one we put in, you can add in some more. You've also got uh, work. So let's put in a uh, peach pit. And uh, sure enough, we've got the peach pit bar and grill, um, but we're gonna actually just put in peach pit. So I can show you that if that doesn't already exist, you can type in peach pit and then we should get the opportunity to, well, let's put in job title cashier. Um, for some reason, it's not letting me add a new company name, but typically this is where I would add that. Um, and, it, and it's just gonna let me choose that one. So, um, but company name there. And then additionally, you have the custom fields, which we talked about earlier on in the challenge that was on day three. So basically wanted to just kind of wrap a bow on it, the additional information that you can put in when editing a contact. Again, we talked about the ability to add a relationship. 
the ability to put in under additional contact information, the preferred method of contact, any additional emails or phone numbers that you have. Super important, making sure that you check the same as mailing address button if this primary address is their mailing address. Again, that helps us with direct mail campaigns later in the challenge. Your social profiles, the ability to add in legal name, description, birthday, home anniversary, any additional relationships, and company or job title information. That's it for today, guys. Day 10. Hope you're having a fantastic Monday. And as always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.